Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we will see the MCQ questions and answers. The first question, which of the following statements are a statement is true about Verilog test benches? Here the question is about Verilog test benches. So the first option is test benches may contain more than one initial block to generate input stimuli for simulating a design uh, module. Yes. Uh, it can contain more than one initial block and testing test benches may contain both initial as well as always block to generate the stimuli yes it can contain initial and always block so the third one input and output ports of dut design and the test require explicit connection to the test bench yes it requires connection to the test bench uh, explicitly so that we can map the input and outputs to register and wires in the test bench so all the three inputs, all the three uh, options are correct. So we can choose D as the correct answer. So the next question, consider the following Verilog code. Uh, here they have used primitives like AND gate primitive, OR gate, NOR gate, NAND gate and the gate delays have specified. And here T1, T2, T3 are the in outputs of AND gate, OR gate, NOR gate and we need to connect all these three uh, to get the output uh, of NAND gate by giving these three as input. So here the question is if all the inputs A, B, C, D, E, F are fed with some logic value at the same time after a delay of dash time units the correct logic value will be available at the output port Y of the NAND gate. So here I have taken some values for A, B, uh, C, D, E, F like this. Here you can observe. Uh, so T1, T2, T3 are generated. Finally, Y is generated. This AND gate is taking a delay of 10 time minutes. Okay, that's why after 10 time minutes, T1 is going to be generated. After 20 time minutes, R gate output will be generated. That is T2 after 20 time minutes. And NAR gate output will be generated after 15 time minutes. That's why from uh, 15 time minutes after that, here T3 is going to be generated and then once these three are going to be settled down here uh, T1 is going to be settled down here at 10 time minutes T2 will be settled at 20 time minutes T3 will be settled at 15 time minutes. So until all the three inputs are settled down the output Y will be X only it is going to generate X for all the different cases of inputs until the values three values are going to settle down. And at this time, you can observe T2 once T2 settled down, all the three inputs are settled to 111. So 111 input to the NAND gate at this particular time minute, 20 time minutes, it will take another seven, seven time minutes of delay and it will generate the output as zero. So the total time taken by this particular logic value uh, at output port Y, uh, they have asked means after the delay time. So here the answer is 27. 27 is the time unit um, this system is going to take. Okay, this is 2. 27 is the answer. And in the third question, if the input of the gates defined in question 2 are assigned with these values, okay, the same values which I have taken to explain you the second question, here the same values are taken and they have asked what actually the output at port Y. So here is the answer that is 0. 0 will be the answer for this. And fourth question, considering following the Verilog uh, statement input X input Y and assign out is, out is equal to X of Y. X of Y in the sense here X is 7 is to 0 means X is an 8 bit uh, variable. Y is 2 is to 0 means it is 3 bit variable x of y in the sense out of these 8 bits we need to take only 2 is to 0 means out of these 8 bits we need to consider only this much uh, from 2 to 0 means these 3 bits we need to consider and that value will be assigned to output and they have assigned some values after 2 time unit of delay here y becomes 5 and after 2 nanoseconds of delay means totally it is 4 time minutes. Here 5 will be uh, taking uh, the value 5 
and we need to sh shift logical left and then value will be assigned to x and remember x is 8 is to 0 once we shift this particular value here you can observe phi in the sense it is 101 okay that phi will be shifted 3 bit left so if we shift first bit uh, it will be like this and if we shift second bit it will be like this if you if you shift third time it will be like this so again here we are taking the value of first three bits itself out of uh, that x that's why the last three bits will be 0 0 0 and this will happen at four time bits we need to add these two since uh, the delay is assigned player 2 and 2 here so after four time minutes the output will be 0 so c is the answer here okay c is the correct statement okay and the next question which of the following is or the design uh, conventions for realizing melee machine okay here um, it is regarding fsm considering melee machine we need to uh, check which of the uh, points which uh, which they have given is our design conventions blocking assignments are used for both uh, state update and output generation this is uh, with respect to the melee machine is concerned okay blocking assignments are used for both state update and output generation is wrong blocking assignments are used only for output generation is also wrong here state change logic is implemented separately for using non-blocking assignments triggered by the clock signal this is correct okay uh, here you can observe one example fsm is there here state change logic in the sense here the state of the logic is going to be changed which is driven by the clock signal and it is defined by using a non-blocking assignment that's why c is the answer uh, next question with respect to uh, the Verilog simulator directive that is dollar display dollar monitor and all which of the following statements are true we need to find out the first statement is dollar display directive is event driven and print the values whenever changes in the value of the variable are occurred so dollar display will display only once where actually we have inst uh, we have used the dollar display it will not uh, update the values whenever the changes occurs in the variable so first statement is wrong so the second statement dollar monitor directive is event driven and print all the values whenever the changes in the values yes it is true second statement is true first statement is wrong and c uh, dump on dump on in the sense it is this directive start previously stopped dumping of the variables it is going to start the previously stopped dumping of the variables here it is uh, wrong and the fourth statement dump all directive it is used to write the current values of the variables regardless of change in the values yes regardless of change in the values means irrespective of whether there has been any change it is going to write the current values it is correct so b and d are the answers here next seventh question here they have given the Verilog code module fun clock clear in out and they have declared it as output and register xyz always at positive edge of clock or negative edge clear they have given this statements here we need to find out which statement is true so by looking at the always statement itself we can uh, say positive edge of clock or negative edge of clear this logic is going to be sensitive means the clear signal is not synchronized with the clock signal clear is defined separately it can be a positive edge of the clock or negative edge of the clear appears this may take some action so that's why it is asynchronous reset okay here it, uh, you can observe uh, the second option will be having synchronous reset so the second option will not be followed out of a c and d one of the answer will be so you can observe here they have used non-blocking assignment so non
clear clock x again a very lock code here uh, they have declared parameter n is equal to 7 parameter in the sense it is a constant we are assigning 7 as a constant value to n and here uh, in the code always at negative edge of the clock this is sensitive to negative edge of the clock signal if clear if clear in the sense it is checking clear is equal to 1 if clear is equal to 1 x will be reset to 0 and in the question they have asked to find out which is the following statements true so here 7 bit or 8 bit counter we need to identify first since n is 7 and we are taking the output uh, x as 0 is to 7 0 is to 7 in the sense it is 0 down to 7 including 0 and 7 totally it it gives 8 uh, bits means it is a 8 bit counter so out of these two one of the answer will be next we need to check the reset they have asked whether it is an uh, synchronous active high reset or asynchronous active high reset since it is uh, depending on only the clock signal so reset will be synchronized with that that's why it is a synchronized active reset 8 bit counter so b is the correct answer so ninth question is again about fsm which is the true statement regarding these four we need to find out in melee machine state transition is a function of present state and present input here uh, in this question uh, we need to find out the true statement since in the melee machine state transition not the output okay you can observe here the state transition will be depending on uh, st state transition is a function of present state and the present input even in more a machine also the state transition is a function of present state and also the present input so first and second options are correct uh, third one is depending only on the present state and fourth one is more a machine depending only on the present state these two are wrong okay for state transition here they have asked for state transition that's why a and b are correct and next question 10th question that is which of the following statement is are true about fsm so here again we need to find out the true statement here they have given the statement keeping the output function in always block triggered by fsm state minimizes number of flip flops and the second statement is keeping the output function in always block triggered by clock minimizes the number of flip flops here the answer is a since if we use an fsm state uh, while keeping the output function within the always block triggered by the state of the fsm reduces the flip flop here you can observe while assigning the output we need to keep the state and as well as input in the uh, always block that reduces the flip flops